Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel Ayas Tech. In today's tutorial, we will be showing you how to download zip files using Angular. So, if you are an Angular developer and looking for a way to download and handle zip files in your web application, then this tutorial is for you. So, without any further delay, let's jump right into this tutorial. So before we start, make sure you have Node.js and Angular CLI installed on your machine. If you have not, then you can find the links in the description below to install them. So let's start by creating a new Angular project. Open up your terminal or command prompt and type in the following command and type in this command. First of all, I will show you that which version I am using of Angular CLI ng version and you can see i'm using the latest angular 16.0.5 version so i'll type the command ng new zip uh, angular 16 you can name it whatever you want so this command will create a new angular project named angular 16 and once it is installed you have to navigate to your project folder using cd command so i will show you once it is done all right angular has been installed now i will go into that directory cd angular 16 and open it in your editor i will be using the vs code so i will open it in there so to handle the download of the zip file we are going to use a library called file saver it's a simple solution that provides save as function which is very convenient for saving files from the client side so let me open up that library on the npm as well so here you can see the other documentation as well if you want to read it otherwise you don't need to read all of that you can just start using by using my video and you can see the weekly downloads so it is very popular you can see from here so open the terminal in your root directory of your project and install the library npm install file saver and save it in the dependencies of your application so it will be saved in this dependencies uh, you can see it has been installed successfully once you have successfully installed the file saver we are ready to write some code so let's start by creating a new service for that you have to type this command in the root directory of your project that is ng generate service download so service is not compulsory it is just the way i'm showing it you can use this library without having a service as well so it's up to you so as you can see this command created a new service with the name download now open the download service file and here import the necessary modules as as i'm showing here so first of all we need to import the save as library uh, file saver and we need to import the save as function from that library i'm getting this error uh, from the typescript it is saying could not find a declaration file for the module saver so i will it is suggesting me to run this command so let me try to run it it will provide us the type definitions for this library and that will make these errors disappear and it will also give you the uh, useful suggestions as well so now if you see we have a function save as we can import it now let's add a function to handle the download process we will call this function download file this function will take in a url of the file we want to download it will then use http client to fetch the file and file saver to download it so for that first of all we need to inject the http service so in order to use http client you must have to import the http client module in the module where your component is declared so my component is declared in the app module so i will import the http client module make sure to import it here import from so make sure the spellings are exactly same so after it is imported you can inject the service here as well http client so i just imp uh, imported the http client service here as well now we, we will define a parameter in the download file that is url of type string 
and we will call a function this dot http dot get and give it the url that we will be getting from the parameter and also i will pass the second parameter that will be the response type we want the type as blob okay and after that we will subscribe to the observable that will be returned from the get function and now i will call a function save as and i will give it the response and i will give it the file name that i want to use file name dot zip okay now with this function we send a get request to the url and expect a blob in return when we receive the blob we use the save as function from the file saver to save the blob as the file on the client's machine now we have our download service ready so let's use it in our component for demonstration purpose i will use it in the app component so open up your app component.ts file and here you have to import the download service and you have to inject it as well in your constructor so i'm going to get rid of this variable i will also get rid of this default html that i got from the installation all right and now i'm going to define a constructor here and here i will give the name to my service as private download service and type the name of the service that you want to inject so I have imported the download service and I have injected it as well. Now let's call the download file function. When the user clicks on a button, we will need a function in our component that calls the download file function in the service. So this is how it will look like. We will just define function on download and here I will give it a URL. I will shortly pass the real URL, but first let me complete the code. This dot download service dot download file and pass the URL to this function as the parameter. And now go to the app dot component dot HTML and let's add a button that calls this function when clicked. So for that, I will add button click me and add click event. And here I will call the function on download. All right, I got the URL of the zip file, so I will paste it here. And now we, it's time to test it. Open the application in the browser by running the command ng serve minus o. That will automatically open the application in the browser for you. So just wait for some time. All right, so if you click on this button, you will get you may get an error that is about course policy. So it is saying that it has been blocked so it is not a problem because when you're running on your local host it uh, you may get this error but if you upload it online you may not get the error or if you on the server where you have uploaded the file you can add, add the course policy so that it could allow your website uh, or domain so for now in the local host uh, i want to bypass this error i used this chrome extension so if you turn it on like this then it will not complain about this uh, course policy so just click on the click me button and this time you can see that i can download the file whenever you click on that it will download the file for you and there you have it so with this setup clicking the button will download the zip file from the provided url so remember you can use this service and method throughout your angular application whenever you need to download the zip file so this file saver library is essentially used for saving files on the client side and it allows for creating files out of blobs and downloading them to the user system so these are the few cases that i'm going to tell you uh, one of the use cases is that you can export to csv or excel so one common use case is the data driven application where you might need to export tabular data to csv or excel so for example, in the sales dashboard application, you may want to provide an option for users to download the sales data to their records. Second use case is image download. You can use this library to facilitate the image downloads. For, for example, in a photo editing app, after the user has made their edits, file saver can be used to download the modified image next use case is generating the downloading pdf so if you have any application where you need to generate a pdf on the client side perhaps with the library js pdf file saver could be used to save the generate pdf to the user system 
so next use case is download protected files so for uh, for application that have protected resources to that require authentication to access for example assigned url from aws s3 you can make an authenticated http request in your application code and get a blob in response and then use the file saver to download that file and next and last use case that i will mention is blob data download so any application dealing with blob data can leverage file saver for client side file download so this can be very helpful in scenarios such as downloading audio clips video files or even zipped project files remember though file saver is a powerful library always consider the security implications of allowing file downloads in your application particularly when dealing with sensitive or user generated data thank you for watching if you found this tutorial helpful please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel for more programming tutorials until next time goodbye